I'm about to test the polarity of some circuit switches. That's to make sure that we are switching the active conductors. I'll start by testing the polarity of this socket outlet that feeds an exhaust fan. I've got the meter set on an ohm range and I'll connect one lead up to the load side of the circuit breaker supplying that load. I'll put my other lead onto the terminal where hopefully the active goes and then operate the switch. Now the switch is in the off position so I'm expecting to see a very high value of resistance. When I turn the switch on I am seeing a very low value of resistance. So when I operate the switch and see that movement of the meter, it means I am switching the conductor that I'm connected to on the supply side, which is an active conductor. So that shows that this switch is switching an active conductor. I'll now try the fluorescent light. It's on the same circuit. So I'm up to the active of the fluorescent. Operate the fluorescent light switch. And this time I'm not getting any movement. So what I'll do now, I'll change this lead on the supply side of the switchboard and put it on to the neutral for that circuit. Operate the switch and there I am seeing movement. So this is showing that I am connected to whichever conductor I'm on at the switchboard, which in this case is a neutral conductor. So that fluorescent light is switching a neutral conductor. That doesn't comply with A3000, so I've got to repair that light switch before we can put supply onto it. I'll just show you one more polarity test. This time I'll test a power point. Once again, I'm still on ohms range. This time I connect to the active terminal of the socket outlet, operate its switch. There I'm seeing that movement across the scale, high to low resistance when I operate the switch. I'm connected on the supply side to an active, so this socket outlet is switching the active. Its polarity is correct.